Hi, Adi Bichman. Uh, today working in uh, Athena, in, uh, a swimmer. Today a swimmer, and uh, you swam in uh, big competitions in the world. So tell me uh, about you. Why? Why did you swim? Uh, wow, that's a big question. I think um, I was the little girl that did everything my brother did, and. Um, I, I had an asthma when I was a kid. My, my brother had a stronger asthma, but our doctor recommended us to go swim. And um, I, I think I was around five and a half, and swimming lessons started at the age of six, and, my, and you know, I, I just wanted to swim, and I just uh, jumped in the pool, and uh, the guy that, I, I, the lifeguard, was uh, saying, okay, she, she's five and a half, but I can take her, and uh, I just started swimming since. But, and you competed in um, world champion. Yeah, so um, I guess my uh, career was like any other normal uh, swimmer until the age of 12. And uh, I swam in the club team in, in Kiriatono. Um, I think I was uh, pretty talented since I was young. And um, when I was at the age of 12, I moved to the um, Winged Sports Academy. So I lived at a uh, boarding school from the age of 12 till 18. So no family, uh, uh, just swimming, swimming and swimming. Yeah, pretty much. I think uh, I was those type of uh, people that I saw my goal. I guess I am like that today as well. But uh, I, I saw my goal when I was 12. I still uh, have a newspaper when uh, um, the, I was asked, you know, what my goal is when I was 13, and I knew I wanted to do an Olympic Games. That that was my goal, and I really wanted to reach that. I knew all the swimmers' names and results and everything, and so that was my goal. Um, someone told, someone said uh, you were one of the fastest dolphins uh, underwater. Uh, you still are? Uh, no, I'm I'm not. <laughs> I don't remember who I was either. I was a hard worker. That's definitely was uh, was my type. I guess that's why I, I was a distance swimmer. You know, um, put my head under the water and swam a lot of um, you know a lot of miles. I guess and um, you took medals, uh, European medals, and uh, when you were uh, young. And uh, today you take this uh, passion to something uh, similar but very different. So let's talk a little bit about, um, is it a problem to swim uh, for girls? Um, I think uh, in Israel, I, I don't know if it's all around. Well, I assume most of the world still have the problem that sports is more manly, I, I, would, I, I guess, but uh, or more male or oriented. But, um, you know, a lot of people will say that swimming is more unisex and everyone needs to swim. But um, I, w I would assume that even when um, I was managing a swimming school, still uh, swimming schools have more guys swimming. You know, more boys are coming even to learn how to swim. Um, I think that in Israel, the, the problem is that there's no culture of doing sport in general and definitely there's no uh, the uh, I would say that parents don't see why their girls need to uh, really do you know sports dancing mummies are afraid that uh, swimmers will yeah, have big, big shoulders, shoulders and uh, huge shoulders and they're gonna just stop uh, swimming and, and their mummies are really afraid Should they be afraid um no I think that you know, I'm also a woman in gender studies, my, um, MA, I'm doing my master in women and gender studies. And all the things I'm actually um, studying is more about how um, female who were athletes when they were young have better confidence. And I'm always saying that the experience that women that don't exercise when they were young are having that I, I don't relate to that. You know, I have definitely not afraid of walking in the streets. I never felt, you know, guys are my best friends. I always swim with guys. Th those are like my high school friends and I don't know anything else. You know? So I, I definitely think that I gain a lot more from being an athlete than a boss. So. so what is one 
tip for the mommies who are really afraid uh, for their uh, young girl to swim? Uh, one tip for mommies. Oh, wow. Um, they can ask my mom, you know. <laughs> but uh, Are you sure she's going to say it's good? Yeah, I think she will. <laughs> now she will, you know. But uh, even my mom, you know, uh, when... We always talk about in my family that when I was 12 and I got the letter that I got accepted to the boarding school and uh, before, uh, bef I guess before we had like some tests and stuff and my parents were, okay, let's talk about it. What's going to happen if you're going to get into the boarding school? What's going to happen? And I was, okay, we don't need to talk about it. There's nothing to talk about, you know, when I will get the letter, we'll talk about it. And uh, they really want to talk about it. And I was like, no, 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 you know, just when I will see it. And then I got the letter and my mom and dad were, okay, now we're family, let's see it and talk about it. And I was like, there's nothing to talk, I'm going. <laughs> so, um, and then, you know, they took me by the ear, said we were sitting at the table, I, re I remember it till today, and uh, um, we were sitting at the table and my mom said that she, she, do, she didn't bring kids to, to life to send them to boarding school, but, um, she understand that that's what I want to do, and I think um, I think parents in general, it doesn't mean if they have a girl or a boy, the, the fact that they need to let their kids having you know going through their most potential. And uh, I want to be a swimmer, and I think uh, you, I just you know I I think that mommies needs to understand that. You know, Girls can do anything, and they just need to let them grow. Pretty much. So we're going to talk about um, swimming for girls and uh, for women, and uh, for Athena, and what's the future for the Israeli swimming, and uh, what's going on in all the world. So we'll be with you in a while.